In this tutorial, I will show you how to manually install WHMCS without any one-click installers. If you would like to save time and effort, you can hire Zomex to complete the installation for you. Simply create your order using the link in the description of this video. The first step is to decide where you'd like to install WHMCS. WHMCS could be installed within the root directory or within a subdirectory depending on if you'd like to use WHMCS for your main website. For example, you may choose to install WHMCS within a subdirectory and use WordPress for your main website. At Zomex, we provide a selection of premium WHMCS templates which can be found in the description below. These templates act as a complete website, so work best with WHMCS installed on the root of your domain. For the sake of this tutorial, I will install WHMCS within the subdirectory. But the installation process will be the same no matter which directory you choose. To start, you will need a WHMCS license. In some cases, this may be included with your hosting service. If you do not already have a license, you will need to buy one from whmcs.com. Feel free to use our referral link in the description below. Log in to your whmcs.com account and click on the Services button. Make note of your WHMCS license key. This will be required to activate WHMCS once installed. Hover over the Support menu and click on Download. This page will allow you to download WHMCS of various versions. I recommend to always use the latest version of WHMCS to ensure that you have access to the latest features. As with any software, using old versions can be a security risk. Within the latest version box, click on the download button. Next, log into cPanel and access File Manager. Access your public HTML directory and upload the WHMCS zip. This file can also be uploaded using FTP if your hosting service does not use cPanel. Once the upload is complete, refresh the public HTML directory and extract the WHMCS zip file. This new WHMCS directory contains the extracted WHMCS files. You can rename this directory to anything you like. For this example, we will go with the name cart. Using the directory name cart will make WHMCS accessible via the URL domain.com forward slash cart. Access the directory and rename the file configuration.php.new to configuration.php. Using your web browser, access the directory using your domain. In our case, the dev domain I'm using is zomex.net and the directory we set whmcs to use is cart, so I will need to use zomex.net forward slash cart. If you have an SSL installed for your domain, I recommend accessing via HTTPS. HTTPS zomex.net forward slash cart. You should now be greeted with the Welcome to WHMCS page. If you don't see this page, try adding install forward slash install.php to the end of the URL. Click on the link to begin installation. Read and confirm the end user license agreement by clicking on the I agree button. WHMCS will then proceed to check your hosting environment to see if it's supported. If you see any issues on this page, contact your hosting provider and ask them to apply the changes to meet the WHMCS system requirements. Once ready, click on the begin installation button. Paste your WHMCS license key as noted from earlier. Next, we need to create a database for WHMCS. This will store all the data of WHMCS, including settings, clients, transactions, and modules. 
head back to cPanel and access the MySQL databases page. Within the Create New Database section, set a name for your database. You can use any name you like, but keep in mind that it will be case sensitive. Make a note of your database name. Next, scroll down and create a database username and password. Make a note of both of these. Scroll down to the Add Users Database section and select your database user and database and click on Add. Select All Permissions and Confirm. This will grant the user full access to your WHMCS database. Head back to the WHMCS installation page to copy and paste your database info to each field before clicking on the Continue button. This process may take a few minutes while your WHMCS database is being constructed. Once finished, you will be greeted with a new page where you need to create your admin account. This is the account you will use to access and manage WHMCS as an admin. It is important to use a strong password and double check to ensure that your email is correct. It is also advisable not to use admin as your username. Make a note of your username and password within a secure location or write them down on a piece of paper. Click on the continue button. You should now see an installation complete page. Go to cPanel's file manager once again to access your WHMCS directory. Right click and delete the install directory. To confirm that everything has been successful and to start your WHMCS journey, access your WHMCS directory by adding forward slash admin to your install directory. Log in using your username and password from the previous step. Now that WHMCS has been installed, we recommend securing your installation. We have a selection of easy to follow security tutorials which I will link within the description of this video. This video is brought to you by Zomix. At Zomix we have been providing premium WHMCS themes and configuration services since 2009. You can view our full range of themes and services in the description below. Save 10% on your next order using the coupon code YouTube. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to ensure that you are notified of new videos. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider making a small donation to the channel via the description of this video. Donations are much appreciated and will allow us to increase the quality and frequency of videos.